It almost hits at the upper part of the body there of Amori Keita. We're 2-2. Two -two. Again, it's that middle attack. They're keeping it very tight with Kristanov there. Nicely done. Float to that middle. Feather comes down from Galati. 3-3. Three, three. We're going to be all the way toe-to-toe -to -toe again here, aren't we? And why not? Somehow that's trickled over. That's Schwartz with an eighth ace for the Monza team tonight. And the most fortuitous of the lot, he knows it. Oh, pull to the line, good up by the libero. Well, that was all about their uh, Francesco Di Amico passing that back into play. Spirito to Zingle to finish it. But a great serve received there. Mark to that middle, there's a float and containment in the ball drops dead off the block. So that's it. I think Rock Mozic here gets the contact. There's the first, yeah, that was the first stop, almost the second. No, Mozic 21 points from the match. Here he goes for the serve and he's bobbled that off the tape and he's registered another race of Rot Mozic. That's his fourth ace of the match at his 22nd point. Verona back in the lead at 6-5. Mozic again, not that time. Well, it's a very special player indeed that can keep that going. Mosic missed there. But still pretty special from the end line. Rock Mosic tonight. Now it's Gianluca Galassi who is going to hold this serve. Big to the middle. There's the up. The float up and over. It's that backslide into Mosic, into the block. Down it comes. Not enough heat that time on the hit. And that block was there, stationed, waiting behind the cloud. And Lurkey dumps it down. Yeah, the push was to the middle. So Lurkey to the inside of that block gets the contact, 7-6. This is what they're after, a hold here. Galassi goes again into the tape, takes the heat out of it. Quick middle, Zingle, 7-7. That was on the floor. That's what we get, isn't it? Sort of when you get deep into a fifth like this, the rallies get shorter and shorter. This teams are willing to be slightly less creative in the
Back we go again. It is point for point. It is 10-10 now. There's the up. There's the swing. And it's always... Bonaventure Boronok now is uh, lining up this swing. Oh! I almost a uh, goalkeeper's diving save there. That's a brilliant transition into Eric Lurkey's pipe finish. Crunch that big time. I mean, he... Diabico is the player in his line of fire here, but he can't pick up there, the libero. And Eric Lurkey puts Monza into the lead at 11-10 here in the decider. Quick middle, not enough pressure on the serve from Di Martino. Grosdano finishes. Again, there's not much transition time there, is there? Between Spirito and Grosdano. But that's a, a really cute and tried and trusted partnership combination, if you will. Oh, that's dicey. It's a miss. It's a miss from Arthur Schwartz. 12-11, Verona. Yeah, and they might well bunch their fists here. So it's a timeout called by Akeli. One-on-one. -on -one. That has to land. Single for 13-11, two and two, leading need. This could be it for a road win for Rana Verona. There's the up, opportunity to get this attack right. Set was a little bit iffy, but the float over the top of the blockers. And here they are at match points now, three of them. Having been two sets down, Verona now have three match points. Be a tough one to take this for Monza. It should it. their travels this season, and this could be another big scalp. Float serve to the middle. A lovely sharp angle has missed, and they do have the win. Rana Verona have come from two sets down to beat Monza in a thriller. Spectacular stuff, the way they hit back here. Uh, Radistin Stoichev's team, 25-23. They're going to challenge Monza. No, it was a clean out. Well, they did challenge, but it was over and done with pretty sharpish. And then...